Hi everybody, it's Stephanie, and in honor of football season, go Ducks, I'm going to be taking some favorite game time snacks and making them primal. Um, I'm doing a play on potato skins, and I'll be making loaded zucchini skins with all the ingredients you see here. Three or four zucchini, three if they're larger, and four if they're a little bit smaller. I've got some larger ones today, so I'm using three. Um, I've got a tablespoon of olive oil, a couple garlic cloves, three or four tablespoons of butter, four or five thick cut pieces of bacon cooked and crumbled. Mmm, bacon. I've got a half of a cup of Greek yogurt, three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, or you can use some other soft cheese if you'd like, and um, half a cup of Parmesan and some uh, peppercorns for grinding. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take your butter and melt it in a skillet over medium heat and add your um, minced garlic. It's going to continue cooking after you take it off of the heat so you don't want it to get too browned. Um, so about a minute or two until it's really fragrant and soft. Take it off the heat, set it aside to cool. Once that's cooled, enough that you can put the Parmesan cheese in without the cheese melting, then go ahead and mix the Parmesan cheese into the garlic butter mixture. And then you'll end up with a mixture of Parmesan, garlic, and butter. And it's really yummy. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take your zucchinis and slice them in half lengthwise and scoop out the seeds. Next, you will preheat the broiler and put the oven rack so it's just about four or so inches underneath the broiler. And then make sure you've got a pan that's safe for broiling. And you'll take your halved zucchini boats and brush it with a little bit of olive oil and then sprinkle it with some freshly ground black pepper. lay those in the pan. You'll broil them then for about five minutes until the um, tops of the zucchini are just a little touch golden and bubbly. So the zucchini was in the oven for about five to six minutes under the broiler and now it's time to load them up. Um, I wanted to say one quick thing real quick about the dairy that you're using for this recipe. Make sure that you have the highest quality dairy possible, organic when you can, and a lot of places have raw cheeses, especially um, in the hard cheeses, and also the soft, just depending on what stores you shop at. Um, today I'm using a blend, actually, of um, Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano for that hard cheese. So we're going to start loading up the uh, zucchini skins with all the toppings. We're going to start with the Greek yogurt and then move on to the bacon and then the mozzarella cheese and then finally the garlic butter parmesan mixture. Okay, so now we just start loading them up. I usually put just a little dollop there. You don't have to measure it out or anything. Just make sure that you've got enough for all of them. We're going to start with the Greek yogurt. Next we're going to put on the bacon crumbles and you can put on, the good thing about these ingredients is that most of them, you know, I put in specific amounts for everything, but if you like it cheesier, you can make it cheesier. If you want more bacon, you can put on more bacon, you can do it up how you like it. And then we're going to add some mozzarella cheese and last but not least the delicious parmesan garlic butter 
Now this is where it gets a little messy. I like to use my hands just because it's easier to um, sprinkle it on there. So this has cooled quite a bit. It's no longer um, liquidy at all. The butter is cooled, so I just kind of divide it up on to each one with my hands. I'm not afraid to use my hands. It makes cooking more fun. So this is what it's going to look like before it goes back under the broiler. So we've got the zucchini skins all loaded up and now it's time to stick them back under the broiler. This could take anywhere from two to five minutes depending on how brown you like your zucchini skins. Okay, so mine were under the broiler for about three and a half minutes until they were perfect. And this is what they look like. Now keep in mind that this is an indulgence. Um, it's definitely not something that you want to eat all the time, but when game day comes around, this is going to be a great snack for you to share with your friends and family. Um, it's also a great introduction to um, things that are not so traditional, maybe, for some people. So um, it could also be a great transition food for somebody that's trying to eat a little bit more primally. Um, so, yeah, if you're still doing dairy, then this is a really fun, um, indulgent snack to have every once in a while. I will be posting the recipe with the ingredients and the instructions on my website, primalpraxis.com. Also check out Mark Sisson's website, marksdailyapple.com. He's the author of The Primal Blueprint, which was the, um, inspiration for me to go primal. So he's got a lot of great information there, including um, details on the 21 day challenge that I'm doing right now. So check it out. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you try it out, let me know what you think. And oh my goodness, I'm going to have to find someone to share these with. Thanks guys. Bye.